lot of folks already taking to the skies. TSA screening more than a million and a half passengers on Easter Sunday, over a thousand percent increase from this time last year. It's a lot to keep up with from COVID passports to vacation booking, insurance. NBC News investigative and co uh, consumer correspondent Vicki Wynn is here to break it all down for us. Good morning. Hi, Vicky. good morning, Vicky. everyone. Good morning. Okay, so CDC recently updating its travel guidelines, mm -hmm. saying those who are fully vaccinated uh, are able to do a lot more than they were before. So what's changed? Yeah, everyone's eagerly been anticipating this. What can we do now that we're vaccinated? So yes, absolutely. The CDC is now saying fully vaccinated people. That's two weeks after your final dose of the vaccine. You don't have to test before and after going anywhere unless it's required by your destination. You also don't have to self-quarantine. Fully vaccinated people, however, do still have to follow public health guidelines as long as they're in place. And that is masking, that is distancing, washing your hands, all of that. But you can feel a sense yeah. of freedom now. That's the whole point, is that we can get vaccinated, we reduce our risk of getting severe illness, and we can do some of the things we used to do. But Vic, quick, quick follow-up. Mm -hmm. Fully vaccinated. That doesn't mean if you get a shot on Thursday, you can hop on a plane on Friday, right? Absolutely yeah. not. If you're doing the Johnson & Johnson, it's still two weeks after that single dose. Or if it's Moderna or Pfizer, you still have to wait two weeks after your second dose. So don't get too excited. Right. But there's light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, absolutely. For a lot of people when you, you can get see vaccinated. It. You know, there's so much talk about these vaccine passports. I remember Dr. Fauci mm -hmm. saying on Monday uh, that the federal government won't require those. What is the latest? They're not going to do it. That, there was a lot of question. It was up in the air. Will the federal government require some sort of digital or paper vaccine passport? That's not going to happen. However, it can still happen through private businesses or schools. They can require you to show proof of vaccination. So that's going to be up to the individual agencies to decide. Europe just introduced a proposal uh, in March that would require the EU green certificate, they're calling it. Mm. There are some there's certainly pros to that because sure. people can then travel freely. Uh, however, there are some cons, too, because the Chinese vaccine, for example, or the Russian vaccine, that's not going to be automatically represented. There are ethical concerns as well about who can afford to get one of these certificates, and then that limits their ability to move about. So a lot of things still need to be ironed out, but You've got one, yeah, just in case. New York State has uh, the Empire Pass. Okay. It? And so on my phone, it has wow. proof of my uh, vaccination and my latest PCR test. Oh, that's, so that's you, through the state. I thought it was through your health insurance. No, no, through it's through doctor. the state. So, you know, you go, you hit it. There's a there's a, uh, a barcode. Yeah. You go to, say, Barclays or, or the uh, Yankee Stadium. You scan it. It shows that you're vaccinated and or you have a PCR test. And you get a 10% off discount. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, well, that's helpful. Oh, really? Well, I'm going to no, 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 tell no, <laughs> yeah. so from you should work on that. But Al, how did you sign up for that? You actually you had go, to put in your information yeah, through you the go, state. You, you go to the state. There's a there's an app. You download it, and then you put in your information, yeah. and which is already in the system. Right. And it gives you, like, when I get my NBC test, yeah. a day later, it shows up on this. Wow. So you've so linked it all up. Test. So That's from the, story. the passport to hmm. the card that a lot of folks are getting after they get their shot or their first two shots, they get these vaccination cards. Yeah. Um, how important is it? to save that. What happens if you lose that card? Is it a big deal? You should guard it. It's important. I would say you don't have to carry it around with you everywhere. And then if Al, like in your situation, you just entered the information. Yeah, but although I will tell you, I did lose my card when I brought it into Krispy Kreme to get the free donut. <laughs> <laughs> and I lost it, and I went to my, the place that issued me my original card, and they gave me a duplicate. There you go. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Either call the vaccination provider, or you can call your state health department. Um, the other thing to do is take a picture of the front and back of your card, and perhaps uh, email it to yourself or a loved one. That way you don't have to carry the physical card with you. However, you are right, and I was going to bring that up. Krispy Kreme, which is giving a free glazed donut out to everybody every day who has a vaccine card. You oh, do wow. have to bring that That's why he here. got the vaccine. Yes, That's exactly. the only reason I went. <laughs> so let's talk about booking a vacation. Mm -hmm. The uh, website uh, Hopper is reporting a 100% increase in demand for travel from July 15th to August 15th of this year. So for folks trying to book a vacation, what should they think about before booking? And are, are prices sky high? I think summer? it's so important. Well, you're starting to definitely see prices creep up because the demand is there. Obviously, people are hungry to travel. You do want to pay attention to package deals. Booking directly usually is easier if you're worried at all about flexibility or you need to maybe perhaps shift some dates or you're worried about canceling because those package deals can be virtually impossible to get your money back mm -hmm. and everything's linked together. Same thing with third-party travel websites. Oftentimes, you'll get a good deal, but then if you have to undo it, 
it can be a nightmare. We've heard from so many consumers who say, hey, I'm not getting my money back. So I would advise people to read the fine print, be very careful about what you're booking. And when you can, call the hotel, call the airline directly and say, hey, I'm finding this price. Can you match it? That gives you oftentimes a lot more flexibility. What about insurance, Vic? Because like early into the pandemic, there was a lot of flexibility. They said, oh, we'll let you cancel, do yes. it. But now those things are changing. Should you be getting travel insurance? Those things are changing. I would say that the cancel for any reason, see far insurance could be a good bet because now they are letting people cancel in a lot of cases for COVID related issues. But you do want to read the fine print because every package is different. Something else a lot of people consider is getting that medical insurance, because even if you're traveling domestically and you have an emergency, it's nice to be able to go somewhere and not wind up with a terrible hospital bill later. Mm. So look into that. And there's that old school thing of using a travel agent. Absolutely. This is the time, actually, because it is still sort of confusing. People getting assistance from a travel agent. That's a great idea. If you're not sure how you want to jump back in, they they have their finger on the pulse of everything that's happening, all the changing rules across the cruise lines, the airlines, the hotels. And so having an, a professional helping you, this could be a good time to do that. A lot of useful tips this morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot. And fuego. fuego. As hey, opposed to Al, you're bringing the tips, too. I mean, you got the app all signed up. Love that. Vicky, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.